if you're entertaining outdoors this summer, designer Michelle Thompson is here to show us a quick and easy way to create a beautiful tablescape. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Hey, I'm good, how are you? I am doing so, so well. So first up, before we get into this, welcome to the show. Thank you. First time on. I'm so excited to be here with you. I am absolutely thrilled about you being <laughs> here because you do amazing work. But first up, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I am a designer and content creator. Mm -hmm. I do interiors. I renovate houses with my husband. Ugh. And we recently moved into our own build, which I share a ton on. So. Oh, that's amazing. Because it's very different, I feel like, doing your own house and living through it. Oh my gosh, yeah. totally different. You know, those delays just sting a little more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally true. But today we're going to talk about kind of outdoor dining. And, yes. and your main tip is to treat almost outdoor dining tables similar to how you treat your actual dining room. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think you should skimp on the details mm -hmm. or the beauty of it. And in fact, you can even have a little bit more fun than you would indoors with your everyday stuff mm -hmm. that maybe if it's a little more neutral, you can have a bit more fun with color and pattern outside. Okay, I like this idea. So let's walk through how you put this whole situation together. Absolutely. So I think for outdoor, you always want to start with some kind of placemat or charger just mm -hmm. to give you that buffer. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we have some beautiful woven ones here that bring in some texture. Mm -hmm. And then for the plate, these have a beautiful pattern. Again, we're bringing in some blues today, some florals. We're tying it all in together. Mm -hmm. And I like to layer at least two plates. Okay. And I kind of base whether I do a flat one or a bowl on the menu. What you're cooking. Smart. <laughs> when, I cook, when I'm bringing to the table, you are putting on the table what you can use to eat it. Yes. It's fantastic. And for the stemware, I, if, especially if you're tight for space, a, tall, a smaller table mm -hmm. or patio area, I like to do something that has a stem. So regardless what you're drinking, it works. Water, yeah. a nice cocktail, whatever, you can make it work. And it gives a little bit of extra height too, which is always really nice. Yes, we need that. Yeah, need and I, that. I love the fact that you're stacking the dishes and you have them already on there. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm dining outside, it's usually like help yourself vibes. A hundred percent. It's like grill is going, it's right beside put it on your plate or if everything's laid out, serve yourself a little more informal, but again, still super beautiful. Yeah. Oh which my I like. I absolutely love that. Now, when you're sitting outside, you know, the sun starts setting, it's getting a little cozy. <laughs> you want to talk about kind of ambiance and lighting. Yes, yeah. because I find often when you're outdoor dining, you're not necessarily under a light. Yes. You still want to be able to see what you're doing, have not food all over yourself. <laughs> so I am loving this season. These are everywhere. These are rechargeable, portable, cordless, weatherproof lights. The weatherproof? Yes, so you can leave them outside, you turn them on just by tapping, super easy to move around yeah. as you need. Now, speaking of that, we've got that citronella, but let's talk about the flowers, which arguably could draw the bugs to you, but you've got a trick for that. Yes, so we want our florals to do double duty. So yes, of course, they look beautiful, they add the height we were talking about, they bring in some more of that color, but you can actually include blooms that helps deter those bugs. So for example, in here, we have the lavender, which mm -hmm. helps. We have our rosemary as garnish. Just a little touch, but again, they don't really like those smells. We like them. Yeah. So it's really a win-win. See, I like that. It's like a sneaky hack. Because obviously citronella candy has a particular smell, which I actually mm -hmm. really like. Yes. But sometimes if you're having food, you don't necessarily want that going. So I like this hack that it just seems like you're making a really pretty floral arrangement. Yes. Using herbs, sneaky. but you're sneaky about yes. it. Yes. All right. Now, you also wanted to talk, you touched briefly on it with these, these placemats, but you want to talk about incorporating like textures and textiles. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I'm a texture gal. Yeah. I want everything to feel like you just want to come and pet it yes. a little bit. Oh, that's me. Anytime <laughs> I walk into a store, I'm touching everything. Yes, yeah. that's what I want. You're yeah. my ideal guest. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So we have these woven chargers that we spoke about. Mm -hmm. We also have the utensils with the wood bases, mm -hmm. which again, I really like. Just adds a little bit of something, a little detail. Mm -hmm. And then we also have linen napkins. And linen for summer, so easy. It's mm -hmm. light. It washes well. It looks beautiful. It's just classic. It's going to give you longevity. Mm -hmm. So definitely suggest this. I like this. And I'm, I feel like I'm about to learn a little hack. <laughs> you are going to learn. Yeah. You are going to learn. So we have like the super easy kind of like lazy girl vibes here, which is <laughs> over and it looks nice. Yeah. But we can impress with a little pocket and okay. it's super easy to do. So I'm going to show you. Okay, let's do this. So you're going to get your napkin. Okay. Right. And you're going to fold it in half lengthwise like a rectangle. Okay. Oh, the wind is not on our side no, today. No, <laughs> This is what makes it trickier. <laughs> and then we're going to fold it again one more time into a square. All right. And we're going to put that down, mm -hmm. and you're going to grab your little one single corner of your triangle mm -hmm. and fold it back in half. Okay. And then you're going to flip the whole thing over. Okay. And once it's back on this side, we're going to fold in thirds. All right. And you're going to see the corner has almost a little tuck there. Yeah. And you're going to tuck your edge in. And when you flip it back over, 
you are gonna have this impressive handy little pocket. Ooh. You can pop your utensils in. We can add that little sprig of rosemary and like how beautiful and simple is that? That is very cute. I'm gonna do this tonight and impress my husband Aaron. There you go. Because I'm a cloth napkin gal through and through. Listen, honestly, such a good investment. Mm. They last forever. Yeah. And then look at all the fun stuff you can do. I know, <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> Michelle, you taught me so much today. I am obsessed with this table setting. Next time I'll bring the food. Okay, next time you have to cook, 100%. that's the deal, right? 100%. I will set, you will cook, and it'll be like a perfect harmony. I love <laughs> it, and I guarantee there will be something in a bowl because I love bowl food. Yes, yes. do it. It's the best, thanks so much, Michelle, great job. Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.